This could make an enormous difference. For the last few months, we know that scientists, not just here in the UK, but around the world, have been looking at the options for various treatments to COVID. And so far, there hasn't been much positive news. But this certainly is the first bit of positive news. We're told that this is the first drug that can actually reduce mortality. So, and particularly for those who are the most sick with COVID. So if you look at people on ventilators, this drug, demoxamethasone, which which is a very commonly used drug for a number of different conditions, ranging from arthritis to inflammatory issues um, to skin conditions as well. This drug can prevent one death for every eight patients who are on ventilators who are given it. And when you look at people who aren't as sick as needing ventilators but need oxygen, it can prevent one death for every 25 patients in that situation. So that's why the NHS is now advising all hospitals across the UK, as of now, start using this as part of the standard treatment for COVID patients. This is all part of the big recovery trial, which is taking place in the UK. It's assessing a number of different possible treatments. This one opened up for patients and possible people to use this drug as a test a while ago. And because this drug is so cheap, it only costs five pounds per dose per patient of this drug. And it's so available as well. It was very easy to find the patients for this. So we know that around 2,100 were given the drug. That's compared to 4,300 who are part of the, the control group for this and there were these significant results and that's why uh, as of today as of midnight from tonight this drug is now on the official list of drugs which are banned for export from the UK such as the need to get this drug out to those very sick COVID patients because it has such a big impact not just here in the UK but globally as well.